and welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, and this one is all about one of my best of Bob Blast. It's about my goof-proof color wheel. We have an app for that. It looks like this. There's my color wheel. It's not like any of the others. It only has 10 colors. So I talk about a dominant color, a focal point color, and two spice colors. For instance, I choose my colors first. Red is going to be my dominant color. Red is my dominant color. See, it's the biggest spot, the biggest footprint. That color says my focal point. And around the focal point, I put the, these two spice colors. So let's see what it looks like. That's the possibilities of what that would look like. Let's go back to another one. We'll choose another one. Let's look at this color. Dominant color, focal point color, two spice colors, and the painting would look like this. All right, so it kind of gives you an idea of what it would look like. And you can visualize it. Reset it. Let's go over here. Green. Green's the dominant color. Purple here is the spice color. The, I mean, the focal point color. And the two spice colors, red and blue. Let's see what that would look like. And there you go. So it's a great app. Easy to use. So let's watch this blast. And I'll see you at the end. Hi there, and welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, and this one is all about practicing effective color combinations. You know, if you get the right color combinations, your painting will be just fantastic, a real winner. And what makes an effective color combination? Well, let me show you. Look. Here we have the standard color wheel, 12 colors. And look, if you use very specific color combinations, like, for instance, the primaries, yellow, blue, red, it's gonna be a pretty cool painting. It just works. So all those color scientists out there figured it all out, right? So there are many other color wheels. I hope you have one. I know you have one somewhere hiding in your studio, but I'll, I have one too. I am kind of made it all up. I have my own color wheel too. And so let me show you how it works for me. Now, let me show you my color wheel. All right, I have 10 colors right here. And when I do a painting, I choose four, only four colors. So I've even numbered them, one, two, three, four. But I also do one more thing. Number one, dominant color. Number two, I call it the focal point color. So mostly if the painting's going to be about 80% of this dominant color, right? And the focal point, 10% right there, it says it right there, focal point. And around the focal point, I put these two pointers. Look, really close, really close. So I'll put a little bit of yellow next to that red and a little bit of purple next to that red and pew, that's how my color wheel works. Look over here, mostly blue. Look at all the blues, all the different values of blues, the red, there's your focal point, can't miss it, it's right in the middle. And what about the yellow and the purple, the two spice colors? Spices, just a little bit, a little bit of yellow, there it is there, and a little bit of purple, it's real subtle, real subtle, and underneath here. And that's how my color wheel works, but make sure you stick with a color wheel. Choose one and stick with it. Don't keep switching all over the place. At least it increases your chance of it being a successful painting and an effective painting too. Before I do a demo, let me show you the materials. And so this is my studio setup. I paint flat on tables. 
I'm going to be doing my practice pieces on watercolor paper. This is the Fabriano Studio Watercolor Paper. I love it. Straight from Italy. My large brushes, watercolor brushes, kind of an acrylic blend of watercolor brushes from Cheap Joe's catalog. I have my color wheel, and from my color wheel, I've established the colors I'm going to be using. Blue being the dominant color. That's the Holbein acrylic ink dominant color. And again, going to my color wheel, you'll see that the orangish color is going to be the focal point color. I already squirted some out there on my table. And the two spice colors, more of a magenta and a kind of a Kelly green. So I basically just poured out my green paint and a little bit of yellow just to make it more Kelly. Big bucket of water, paper towels. I'm ready to get started. So I've already started. So the dominant color is blue. Here is that watercolor paper. There's the color wheel. I always use one next to me. So the, according to this, orange is the focal point color. Here I go with the brush. Get that orange out. I'm going to add a little bit of white to that. White makes it more opaque. And this is going to be the human figure. Let's see. I'm painting it upside down too, just so you can see it too. It's a lot of fun to paint upside down, isn't it? Funky, huh? There. So you can't miss that. There you go. Add a little bit of, oh, look at that. Ooh. So that's the focal point. Certainly a small painting at this point. And so there's no way you're gonna miss the focal point. It's right there. But the background, blue, really nice. I like that focal point. Clean the brush. Still making sure that blue is the dominant color, usually around 80% of the surface. Orange focal point, about 10%, you know, there it is. And the other two colors, the spice color, the uh, pink and this green, let's see what I can do. Those are usually about 5%. And they are there, you can tell by the arrows that they're closer to the focal point, so let's do that. Again, add a little bit of white to it. Makes a nice paint. Oh, look at that. Ooh, I like this. Ooh. Well, I'm supposed to like it. That's the whole idea of this color wheel. I really like it. Ooh, I do like this. See, just a little bit. See how that, oh, that really draws attention to the focal point. Now, a little bit of green. Same thing. I'm adding some yellow to that green to make it a Kelly green, and of course, more white. White also softens it. Whoa, whoa. Just a little bit. There we go. And now, those are the two spice colors. Let me just darken up the Dominant color. Just a little bit more. Well, it always amazes me when I paint what happens. <laughs> it's hard to visualize what's really going to happen. I think that's why we became painters. <laughs> We paint so we can see what painting looks like. <laughs> I'm gonna lighten up the top a little bit. More white. There we go. Still keeping that blue. It's too pink. There we go. That's the color. More white. There we go. See, I still use the same colors. That's the point of this particular demo. If I use the same colors, oh, this will be nice. It still helps to hold it together. There we go. I'm 
painting over some of the spice colors to make it even less. Negative shape painting. Get rid of the parts that don't work. And I'm finished with this little demo. The four colors, focal point, the two spice colors. I followed the color wheel, whether it's my color wheel or anybody's color wheel. Stick with it. It works. Get in, get out, and don't tickle it to death. Hey, I'll see you on the next Bob Blast, and thanks for sharing. Have a great time, and keep your brushes wet. And now you know what works for me. I hope this helps you in you choosing your color combinations for your award-winning painting, right? So for more information about my app, go to my website, and I'll see you on my next Bob Blast. Keep your brushes wet. Take care.